Hey everybody and welcome back to another episode of FS Economy with me, Mihir37. So I was trying to think about what plane to fly and uh, actually just kind of decided to go back to the Beechcraft uh, King Air C90B. I think that was actually my last episode too. Actually it's been a little bit uh, since I, a little uh, length of time since I've actually flown FS Economy again. I did a whole uh, computer reinstall when X-Plane 11 came out and everything, so it's been a little while. I've been doing some other stuff as well. Uh, but in this episode, uh, we're over here. I just kind of found this. i kind of glad I found this because hopefully this is going to be a really cool place to land. I'm um, at KSUE. It's in Sturgeon Bay, Wisconsin. There's actually 14 people. We can't fit them on the plane. Uh, we can fit 11. Uh, so we got to leave some people behind. Oh, well, <laughs> somebody else can get them. Um... Let's go over to 3MI2. This is like a, an island out in the middle of the, the lake. I can't remember which lake that is. Uh, but this is over at South Fox Island in Northport, Michigan. And there, As you can see, there's a bunch of people coming back. So I think in the next episode we'll come back. It's only 75 miles. Um, but hey, it looks really cool, I gotta say. Um, let's see. So that's Fox Island. Let's go over to my flight. All right, so here we go. Was it cuts zero five nine is the registration number? Um, it uses ninety five gallons an hour. And it's got one hundred fifty seven gallons, so it's got plenty of fuel because it's only seventy five miles. Um, it doesn't really matter for us though because uh, the owner actually pays for the fuel, not us. We just use. Uh, pay for what we use so it doesn't really matter I and mean, we can put fuel in it doesn't really matter because I was talking about that before uh, I always say well let's not I don't want to put too much fuel in it as kind of stupid I guess since we don't actually pay for it but yeah let's go back over to my flight uh, if it's 11 people and like I said that's all we've got we couldn't fit those other people in there um, so hopefully there I think there's almost a full flight coming back out we'll have to check that again for the next episode, but uh, yeah, so it's got 41% fuel actually, so I guess it doesn't hold, I was thinking it held a lot of fuel, but if, if it's only got 157, what was it? It's only got 157 gallons, that doesn't seem like that much when it's using 95 an hour, but whatever. Alright, with that, uh, well, AirNav is going to show you AirNav, uh, there's no uh, procedures for it, so let's go over to Flight Sim Commander, you can see the wind here, Get out my note card here. We're going to take off on runway 2, heading 017 degrees. Uh, let's see, you can see the wind here, and that's basically all around. It's all coming from the north, northwest, uh, all over the place. There's actually another weather station not too far away. We're up from wherever that is. Uh, so with that, here's South Fox Island. Zoom in here. It doesn't show anything. Uh, so it's runway 35, heading a 352 degrees. The... Airport elevation 653 feet. I did look at, um, see it says this is grass as well. Um, you can see it actually says here it's grass, but I guess that's how it's going to be in uh, FSX. But I was looking at AirNav and it shows an island. It's a really small island as you can see. And it says it's actually asphalt. So maybe they've changed it to asphalt since FSX came out or whatever. That kind of does suck if it's, it's going to be grass. I guess it's not that bad. Uh, it's like 4,000 feet long. It seems like a long runway for grass as well. See, 4,200 feet long. It seems like a long grass runway. Uh, but So I guess, unfortunately, I'll probably be that in the game, not asphalt. But uh, anyway, let's go ahead and move on over to the plane. All right, everybody, here we are at the plane. It's already started up. It comes started up. Uh, so I'm not going to shut it down because I don't have procedures. And as you can see, it's a lot more uh, complex than some of the aircraft we fly. I'm going to see the outside. It's quite loud. That gun is loud. And let's see. Hopefully this will be able to load up FS Economy. Because I didn't... I didn't... I didn't uh, put the fuel in. See, the computer is just reinstalled. So I have to hit all that crap. No, it doesn't say anything. Start flight. All right, what's going on? Not responding. That's not good. Start the flight. Invalid account information. 
That's probably because I changed my, uh, oh crap, I didn't even put my information in there. Shit. All right, I'll be right back. All right, now I, uh, I just, actually I had to send a new password because I can't remember my old one. All right, so that's accepted. I'm actually going to start flying. I went ahead and set the fuel myself to 41%. You can't get all the way up to 2,000 pounds, though. Well, I guess maybe you could. I was looking at the cargo. Let's see. See, it says add a little bit, but eh. This is good. This plane sounds super loud. I have to turn it down the editing. Man, some of these planes are just killing loud. All right, so let's turn on some of the switches that it didn't have on already. Looks like the beacon is on. Turn our nav lights on. Recog lights. Let's see, because I know there's a few things I, that could have been it. I, the pedo heat needs to come on. Stall warning. That might actually be it. I was thinking that maybe you had to turn the inverters on, but no, it's, it's on number one. So it looks like everything is probably already on now. Go ahead and turn our GPS on. So altitude will probably go up to 7,500 feet. Might be a little high for as short a flight as we've got, though. Oh, it's a power! It's a powerful damn plane, I'll tell you that. So it can't get up. I'm trying to remember, I think this one, you have to actually change the heading with this, the autopilot thing. So let me bring this up and make this smaller. Come on, thing. All right, so let's set our heading to the runway heading, which is going to be 017. There we go, 017, easy as that. Apparently it's not that one. How did I bring that up? All right, number four. So let's go ahead and turn off the parking brake. And we'll push back. It looks like the runway is, uh, I guess it'll be just off to our right. Going straight ahead, which is nice. I, I've lived in Michigan a couple times before and I've never heard of Fox South Island. I think I got those glitches out now. You're supposed to, they say when you get in, twirl around a few times and it'll take out all the spikes and stuff. It seems to have taken care of that. Just move it a little bit. All right, let's stop our pushback. Go down here and, and uh, hit our taxi light. There we go. I see the plane is uh, moving on its own, so now got to grab that. taxi on over. Whoa, there's a building there. I thought we were basically at the end of the runway anyway. Now I've got to set this thing up. Gee, you need Christmas. The runway for takeoff. We're taking off on two. Uh, now it's taxi to the runway. Just so everyone knows, we're on our way over. Although I just installed a world of AI, so there probably won't be anybody. I've had a heck of a time installing that the past couple times as well. He just wanted to say that that plane isn't there or something. I don't know. Finally, it, it took forever, but I got it installed again. And there's grass there. Well, there's a, I guess a taxiway there too. We'll just come over here and taxi on down. I've never been to this airport, so I don't know anything about it. At least I don't recall ever being here. I don't think we've ever flown up to Wisconsin. Yeah, I'm glad we didn't go over there. Although, I guess we'd be a little left of those buildings. I'm going to go ahead and set the flaps. Yeah, this is kind of one of those older Carnado planes. It doesn't really sound realistic, does it, with the flap sounds? They focus on that stuff a lot more. They always get dinged. I know people, you know, because they focus on the eye candy and stuff, not the actual plane. 
like the way it should actually handle and everything. Although, kind of, they always do say that that's one thing that they focus on, but I don't know. I did a flight in this yesterday in X.11, a quick look. And you can see, I mean, this looks way better, but I don't know. It's a default plane in X.11, so it's not like they were going to spend a ton of time on it. Some developer will make it if they haven't already made it because Coronado does make X plane planes. I don't know if they've gone back and taken some of their older ones and uh, redone them, redid them for X plane or not. All right, we'll step right here. So I'm gonna change that over to GPS. We can fly the GPS with it. Okay, so the flaps are out. Let's go ahead and flip on our landing lights and our strobe lights. What is this one? I can't, I'm not sure which this one is. Logo light. I don't even have a logo. All right, so let's go ahead and now we're flying basically, I guess, to the northeast. I'll just go ahead and say, now I'll say to the north. I think it's probably more to the east. It is to the east. <laughs> that doesn't matter. All right, it looks like we're good. Get onto the runway here and take off. We'll do a rolling takeoff. Easy on the brakes there. Maybe I need to take turn brake. Uh, Sensitivity off because it just seems like it does a lot. If I just tap the brakes, it makes a plane like huge difference. I don't like that. All right, anyhow, let's go ahead and get on out of here. She's pushing me over left. Then I get way over to the right. Let's go ahead and rotate. Positive rate gear is coming up. I'm going to pull back on the thrust here. Put her below that red line. Well, that went way below the red line. Man, just a, a little bit of throttle in that. Uh, Torque went way down. Still got some room for a little more. I'm going to go ahead and retract the flaps. It'll help us with our airspeed. I noticed that airspeed came way down when I left the thrust. I didn't move it back that much, though. Let's go ahead and turn out to the left. Left. Yeah, I know my right from left. <laughs> Great. Turn out to the right. Maybe if I get a second, we'll check out Wisconsin. Bring that up. So I use that in a second. I've got everything in extremely dense, so it should look pretty good. Open LC is on. All right, let's check this out. I gotta remember exactly how to use this. Autopilot, nav, so we'll be in GPS here. Y'all damper is coming on. And I gotta remember, uh, let's see, we can't use vertical speed. I think we have to use, I don't think that's altitude hold. Come on now. Ah, uh, that probably is altitude hold, damn it. Choose altitude select. See if I can get her to climb at a thousand feet here. Yeah, she's gonna hold her there. So that was right. I wish you could use the vertical suit, but you can't. So I can remember that's altitude hold. That got reset when I did that. 
All right, so let's take a look outside real quick. Can't remember the area. So it's Wisconsin. There's the airport way over there. Yeah, I can't imagine there would be too much here. Small town in Wisconsin. Surrounded by the water. Man, that place has got to be cold as hell in the wintertime. And snowy. But you're living on the Great Lakes, which is kind of a plus if you like the water. And if you live there, you probably have to like the water. I bet this GPS over here, hopefully that will have something like distance. Resize that. Oh, that's too much. Can't read it. Even is saying that 67.1 miles, varying at 68 degrees, obviously 24 minutes to get there. Since we don't have the normal GPS, we've got this one right here. I'll show you that. Yeah, distance 66. That's actually a probably better one to use because it's not so daggone big. There we go. I need to be able to see the distance is the main thing. Alright, already up to 5,000 feet. I guess we could probably turn our taxi light off. I believe it's that one. No, it's not. It's that one hiding behind the yoke, isn't it? Alright, well with that, we're not too far out. It's just 65 miles. But I'll go ahead and uh, speed it up for just a bit because we're coming out over the water. There's nothing really to see, even even when we're looking at that. Not too much, not too much there. All right, but uh, let's go ahead and speed it on up for just a minute, and uh, I'll be right back. All right, everybody, slowing it out. I thought I had this thing, but I, I'm having a problem just getting it to descend. No, because I got this. I moved this d down once already. And it doesn't want. There it's going, finally. Had to fight with this thing. Just can't always remember uh, how to get it to operate. All right, so let's go ahead and. Uh, we're getting a little close here. I've been trying to descend for a little while. I thought I had it. I didn't realize it just went back to 7,500. We'll pull back on the thrust here. I uh, didn't even think about it, to be quite honest, but I did not uh, lean the mixture at all, nor did I turn on the props. But it was such a short flight. We are up at 7,500 just for a minute or two. So we'll, we'll use a little more fuel than we wanted. But it should still be a good paying flight, and uh, we got people coming back to us uh, on the way back as well. Next episode. Alright, so 1,200 feet a minute, because, man, I 
We're so close now. This will put us a couple thousand feet over the runway. I wanted to come come in and then do our pattern. Uh, just so we could get a better look at it. But if it's clear, I won't have much of a problem. We're going to be high, of course. I'm thinking about just switching over to heading and coming out to the left a little bit. Uh, that's the head, the direction of the runway, about 352 right there. So we can actually come in a little different. That'll uh, give us a little more distance to get our speed down. And we'll turn back right here in just a second. We're technically supposed to come in at an angle, but I can't really do that. Now that we uh, wait a little while. Still got 3,000 feet to go, 13 miles out. Hopefully these clouds aren't too low. And they do look low in some places. We're trying to hit a little grass runway on a little island. That's not good. Hopefully we get, get below them. Boom, so there it is right there. Let's get on here. Nearest airport list, 3MI2. Two to the traffic, runway for landing, uh, 35. Full stop landing. We'll just announce our position. Couple thousand feet to go here. Figure if we get over to the left, then we can come into the right more in a better pattern. Because I don't really know where the runway is on the island either. Still didn't get quite over where I wanted. about 1,200 feet to go. Why would you want to live here, though? You are, like, disconnected from everybody. Uh. 1,000 feet to go. I can uh, take that one off there. Yeah, we're coming in more at 90. I, like I said, we should have been over here to the left and come in diagonal. Would have been the more proper way. Let's stop at 3,000, by the way. I'm worried about getting a little too low. The island's a little bigger than I thought. Because remember, this is a little grass runway, so it's not going to be near as easy to see. It did say there was lights, but they could have put in lights when they uh, paved it, so they wouldn't be on FSX. I'm thinking it's on the side over on the uh, far side. All right, so we're at 3,000, so I'm going to go ahead and increase the throttle. Not too much. Is that it, Ren? It's going to be hard to see. I wonder how far it says we are. Five miles? I bet that's it right there. That kind of looks like a runway right there. Although that looks like a paved runway.
All right, coming out to the right, 172. Sure, what, yeah, that's why you want to come in from the other side a little more. So when you're level, you can actually look out there and see it. Hopefully we'll be able to see. I mean, that looks like a paved runway to me. Yeah, hopefully it is paved. That's weird that Flight Sim Commander would uh, list it as a grass runway. Oh, it's a little full paw, I guess, on their part. Oh, well, it doesn't really matter. Now, to get down to 2,800. Now that's letting it go down to 2,800. It wouldn't do that earlier. To be honest, we could probably get down a little bit lower. Airport elevation is 653 feet. But I want to get out further as well, make a good approach with this thing. That would put us about 2200 above. We are below the clouds, though. That's really good. I was getting a little worried because some of those clouds look real low. And that thing is loud. Actually, everything in this cockpit is loud. It's a very loud plane. Although, I guess you got two turbo props right in front of you. All right, so let's go ahead and turn. 082, but really, and I didn't call out, did I? Really, we should probably just make a 180 degree turn because we didn't go out that far. Or, uh, let's say base leg, though. Got to get back into the swing of that. Flying small planes. I've been flying a lot of big planes lately. So it, it might, it said Vassy lights on air nav. Who knows if it really does have those or not. I guess we were out a little further than I thought. Uh, sideways, I mean. Probably still let her come down a little bit. Now it's not dropping. There it goes. I thought we had gotten a lot closer. That actually says we're a little low now, but I'd rather be low than high and trying to dive down at it. We ha it happens so much with me. Getting pretty close here. They're they're flashing. I can't remember what the flashing means though, but it did talk about that. This is pretty much how AirNav described it. Three five two. I hope I didn't let it get out too far. No, a little far. Getting a little high now. I'm gonna go ahead and drop the gear. I've already got the tax light on as well. Y'all damper off, autopilot is off this off my screen get that up so I don't forget 
All right, pulling back on the thrust here. Reset my views. All right. Go ahead and set the flaps to approach. Or I guess that would be takeoff, actually. Can't remember how many notches we've got, two or three. That sure does look like a concrete uh, runway to me. And these controls are really stiff. The slightest movement. Looks like there is literally trees right on the freaking runway, right at the edge. Let me go call final. Man, there are trees right in front of the damn runway. I think we're getting a little low as well here. I'm going to go ahead and put, put a full flap, so I'm going to increase the th power here. I ain't going to let her drop too much. Man, those stupid trees. Holy hell. Now it is starting to look like a grass runway as well. That's going to kill us on take um, the distance, man. We literally got to dive down at this thing. I should use that program for this if I would have known that. A lumberjack add-on or whatever it removes trees from a certain distance. Alright, I'm off the power. Whoa. Felt like wind there. Come on, girl. And she's grass, all right. More like dirt. End up being not too bad. I wouldn't want to fly that too many more times. It actually turned it out to be pretty good landing. I was worried though, because I noticed we were so low in all those trees, my goodness. And not being that totally comfortable with this plane either. All right, so we'll just taxi to the end of the runway. Actually, let's taxi on back. Actually, I'm trying to think. Let's just go over here because I'll do the the return at another episode. So just park her over here. Tell everybody we're off the runway. Strobes off, landing lights off, get rid of that. Taxi light off. I think FS Economy will pick this up. It better. There we go. Good, because I did hit record. I was kind of thinking about that. I hope I have recorded that. Alright, so I'm trying to think of what all we should do. Uh, pedo stall vane. Like I said, I don't have procedures, so I don't know how exactly we want to turn all this off. I'm not even sure if the prop sync seems to work in this plane, but I'm not really sure. Cut the fuel. all this stuff is off it's hard to see some of this stuff how many of these are two three switches and twos my goodness beacon and nav I think that's got everything let me just zoom in here looks like everything is off Internal power, all right, batteries off. It looks like everything is off. All right. 
I don't know this plane that well, so I don't know of all the switches and everything. All right, but uh, let's go over to uh, FS Economy and we'll get ourselves paid. All right, everybody, we made some good money on this flight. The income was actually $8,745. We rented the plane for 40 minutes. Uh, it cost us $649 an hour. Cost us $437.89. Use $163.40 in fuel. Uh, eight seventy four fifty on the ground crew, six nine sixty one ninety five on the booking. I wonder if it if it goes up to a certain amount, does it kick both those in, or what exactly happens? I'm not too sure. Cause I know there was no ground crew fee at this airport <laughs> where we landed. Three of my two. All right. Uh, but anyway, so that all came to. Well, did I even say that? I think I did. Uh, came to one thousand nine hundred ninety nine dollars eighty five cents. This is bonus. We actually lost three dollars and seventy cents. I think this plane is actually out of Mexico. Uh, we we'll get our three seventy back though when we go back. So earnings for the flight six thousand three hundred three dollars fifty five cents. That's pretty daggone good for seventy five miles. That's hard to beat. Uh, white T flyers one fifty six fifty five. Uh, me five thousand two hundred forty seven. Of course, it all goes to the group. Let's look at the bank real quick. Uh, geez, I hate. That's seventeen thousand. Then we got another twenty-two, basically twenty-three and seventeen. We got what forty grand? Not bad. We need to pay Ivan. I still haven't done that. I was because I'm not sure exactly how much uh, it was going to cost. So now we should have enough money uh, to pay him back. Although I'm not sure because I can't remember the amount. And then we got to get to sixty thousand. I would like to put Avionics in that uh, little Piper. But I, I might hide, hold off on that. Maybe if we can get some more people flying, because uh, I'd like to get another plane. I don't know what we're going to do, what we're going to get. It's going to take a little while. But if we can do flights like that, man, getting six grand like that, that's uh, pretty daggone good. I mean, what, if we wanted avionics and we're making 6,000 on flight, 10 flights, and heck, we'd have that avionics. Although 60,000 a lot, because that gets you, I think that one plane we were looking at was like 300,000. So that's like 20% of it right there. That's 60 grand. All right, but anyhow, that's going to be it for this episode, everybody. I hope you all did enjoy it. I'll catch you on the next flight, which is probably going to be going right back. So see you then.